Okay. So the double herringbone, double crochet herringbone stitch is very much like the half double crochet. You're only going to do one extra step. That's all. So like the half double crochet herringbone stitch, it is any number of stitches though. So I do a number of 26. It yields about an 8 inch uh, dishcloth. So I'm going to stick with 26 chains. So let's work 26 chains. A chain is yarn over, go through the loop. Yarn over, go through the loop. Yarn over, go through the loop. And we're going to do that for 26 chains. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. And you need to add two more stitches for the base chain. All right. We're going to be working in the back bumps. And the back bumps are these little ridges. Um. Here you go. A back bump is right here. You can see them right there, right there, right there. That's what we're going to be working in. So to do a uh, double crochet herringbone is yarn over and we're going to go into the fourth stitch. So there's one, two, three, four. So it will be the fourth bump back. So go through the, um, I guess I should explain it. So yarn over into that bump, yarn over, pull through one and one on your hook. Yarn over, go through one on your hook, yarn over and go through two. Let's do that again yarn over, go into the back bump, draw up a loop, pull through, and pull through one on your hook, yarn over, go through one on your hook, and yarn over, go through both. It's so much like a double crochet other than you're going through one on your hook right away on your first thing chain. So yarn over, insert in the back bump, yarn over, pull through, and pull through one stitch on your hook, yarn over, go through one, yarn over and go through two. That is all a uh, double crochet herringbone stitch is. So we're going to work that all the way to the end and I will come back and show you what to do on the next row. Okay. All right, welcome back. I hope you come back and finished your first row. I'm going to do my last double crochet herringbone stitch. Go into the stitch, pull up a yarn, go through the first one on my hook, go through that one, and do a go through the last two. Sorry about that. So we're going to chain two and turn. It's basically the it's a one row repeat so we're going to do the same thing but the second row gets a lot easier so we're going to yarn over go into the stitch draw up a loop pull through one and one loop on our hook pull through that one yarn over go through one yarn over and go through two 
it's the same thing but it's a lot easier I think and the more you do this row it will get easier so let's do that again yarn over into the stitch yarn over pull through pull through one on your hook yarn over go through one on your hook yarn over and go through two now mine's looking a little lax because um, I'm trying to show it but you you will probably make it a lot um, um, denser so let's yarn over go through the stitch yarn over pull through one pull through one on your hook yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two so we're going to work that all the way down we're going to repeat row one and we're probably going to do it for about 18 rows and I'll come back and tell you how many rows that I had done all right hope to see you after 18 rows or 20 rows all right everybody welcome back we're down here to the last row that I'm going to do if you want to do more you're more than welcome to do that and I did a grand total of 16 as you can see between here and here that's two rows so there's two let me turn it this way I see better this way okay there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen there's one here's 15 and this beginning row is 16 so I did 16 so all I'm going to do on this last one is uh, chain one, turn, and do a single crochet all the way across. That's all I'm going to do. Now, like I said, if you were selling these at a craft fair, you might want to do a nice little pretty border around. Um, to get a little extra money out of your sale or you can just do a basic washcloth like I'm doing this is number two of my 365 washcloths that I will be doing this year along with the video of the washcloth I will also do tutorial for each one that I have done. So that's all for this double crochet washcloth. I hope everybody enjoyed it and give it a try because these was really fun to make the half double crochet and the double crochet herringbone stitch and what's neat about both of these is you know looking straight at it you don't see the herringbone but let me finish these last two stitches and I will show you so pull it up give it a snip finish off give it a tug so Looking at it like this, you don't really see the herringbone stitch. But look when you turn it this way. Look how pretty that is. Do you not think that would make a beautiful top in a lightweight? I might have to try it. So all you're going to do is sew your ends in and washcloth number two. I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me you like it. Or leave a comment. Thank you all for watching.